Hey, and welcome to your configuring ZimWriter guide. There are just some configuration steps that would be good to know, some knowledge about where ZimWriter keeps important files, how to back things up. I didn't really know where else to put them, so they're best uh, placed inside of this video. It's gonna be a short video, but it should be very useful to you. So I first wanna open up the options menu because we're gonna talk about some different things inside of here. The most important option in here would, for most people would be the set directory to save blogs. So whenever you write something with the one click or the bulk or the penny arcade, any feature inside of here and it spits out a file or some images or something, by default, it's gonna store them in your ZimWriter directory in this output folder. You'll have all your text files and everything inside of here. But maybe you want it to go somewhere else. Maybe you want it to go to your Dropbox folder or a flash drive or something like that. You can set that right here and then all of the output will then go to that particular folder. There's an option up here to disable all keyboard triggers. If we check this and we press save, when we leave the window, all of our triggers will be temporarily disabled except for the exit. The control key will always remain active or whatever you've set the exit trigger to. So and this is useful if you're playing a game or you're doing Photoshop or some kind of program that has a lot of different key bindings and ZimWriter just keeps interacting with that. This is a quick and easy way to just disable everything. But just keep in mind that, that it will be disabled even when you restart ZimWriter. So you'll wanna re-enable it if you wanna start using those things again. There's an option to disable extra stuff in file header. Now granted, I could have probably named this a little bit better, but in each of the text files that's generated, except for the local SEO buffet, so in each of the files, the, the one click, the bulk, the penny arcade or whatever, you'll have all this stuff at the top of the file and it all begins with this, this at symbol right here. If you click this box, disable stuff at, at the top of the file header, then all this stuff right here will not appear. You'll just have a nice file right here. I personally find a lot of this information over here very useful. And if you upload this to WordPress, like the auto upload that's built into ZimWriter, all this stuff will be automatically deleted on upload, but will remain inside of the file. So something to think about, you might just wanna leave this unchecked right here. There's an option to speed up ZimWriter by disabling the safety check calls in OpenAI. I highly recommend leaving this unchecked. You don't want to check this option. OpenAI has things that you should not be generating, some not safe for work things, hate speech or violence or adult themed material. You can't generate that stuff with OpenAI. And if you try too many times to generate that kind of stuff, they'll block your API account. Virtually all of the calls that ZimWriter makes to OpenAI first pass through their safety check and it's completely free and it, it doesn't really take up a lot of time. So it's highly recommended to, to leave this as default, which is unchecked. And that way everything will first pass through those, those safety checks first to make sure that OpenAI considers it safe to generate. What else? This is the place that you can change a, a new OpenAI key. You can switch your key out with something different. And you can also set your ZimWriter license inside of here. If you have a subscription, you upgraded to a different version or something like that, you can change that inside of here. There's more options in here like Scrape Al and Scraping Surgeon. We'll talk about those in a later lesson. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the important files in ZimWriter. The first file is your settings file, settings.ini. This is a pretty important file. It keeps, I believe, the sites that you've connected to WordPress in there. So your different sites that you've added, I believe it stores that. It also stores some different advanced triggers and things like that. So if you ever format your computer or you want to do a reinstall of ZimWriter, this is a file that you would want to keep. You can just take it and copy it to your desktop or something like that. And then when you unzip a new copy of ZimWriter, you can just drag and drop this inside, no problem. Make sure whenever you're doing this kind of stuff, ZimWriter is turned off to begin with, like shut down. You don't want to do anything I'm doing right here with ZimWriter open. The other place with important files is your database folder. There's a couple different databases inside of here that store various settings for ZimWriter that you use. This uh, scraping stores a scraping cache, and there's some scraping settings and things like that. So these would also be things that you might want to back up every now and then. I've never had, and we have thousands and thousands of ZimWriter users, we've never really had an issue with these things crashing. Every couple of months, it might be worthwhile to just to back up this stuff. Ideally, I would just recommend closing ZimWriter down and then going to outside of your folder and just going over here and compressing to a zip file. And then we can say backup, nice and easy. 
might be worth doing every couple of months just to have some backups, just in case something does happen. So that's it. That's the whole configuration, everything you need to know about uh, configuring the basics in ZimWriter. If you have any questions, just drop in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson.